go ahead with your questions for Jess. What happened? Uh, I, you know, from what I saw, I think she dribbled all the way down the court, made a left. What happened and, you guys though? Um, you know, I wish I could go back and uh, tell you, but for right now, I probably won't watch it for a while. But um, I think our defense just let down a little bit. Obviously, I think rebounds were a huge, huge part of this game, and um, uh, we didn't play our best basketball, I think. Uh, we had a lot of things clicking our way, and I really felt that we had the momentum. But um, towards the end, I think we just failed ourselves a little bit, and I think rebounding was a huge part of that. How much tougher does it make it when you guys you know, have been mentored for so long, only for it to be taken away in the very end? Of course it's tough. I mean, it's always going to be tough. Um, we've encountered very few of those situations throughout the season. And um, it's hard because we knew who they were going to get the ball to. Um, the two players that had been killing us all game, and um, you know, unfortunately weren't on top of that. So. Just what kind of keep their ability to come back on you? Well, like I said, rebounding was huge. I mean, I can't, I want to say three or four times, I think on every miss on the free throw line, I think they got a rebound and they got a, a second chance. And that was within the last three minutes, too. So, you know, if we had gotten one board um, and just made one stop, you know, it would have been, I think, a whole different ball game. We would have come down, we were in the bonus, and. So if I, if I could pinpoint one thing, you know, it was definitely rebounding. It's, it's not easy against the leading rebounder in the nation, but um, I think it was other people that hurt us too, so. Jessica, we talked a little bit about dealing with their pressure in the last two minutes that also was, you guys were struggling just to get the ball to the floor at times. Um, yeah, a little bit. Um, they put that pressure on and they had been pressuring up on the guards the whole game, so I wasn't that surprised about that. Um, the trap flusters a little bit, but um, honestly, you know, we, it's one pass at the floor and it's, it's three on one almost. So I think that that one or two turnovers even, it was a huge swing for the game, which is it was sad because, you know, it was in the last couple minutes and they didn't do that um, the entire game. So. I mean, obviously the pressure affected us, but um, I thought we handled it well. The times we didn't handle it was obviously capitalized on. So. Speaking of pressure, it looked to me like you didn't put a lot of pressure on yourself to do well in this game and try to carry the team. Am I reading that right? You know what's funny is that, uh, honestly, I had no pressure on myself today. Um, it's kind of the opposite. Uh, I came in and um, I was just like, and Coach always says it too, you know, it's postseason play, you know, fire away, take a big swing at it. And um, knowing that every game can be your last, especially for me, um, I just said go for it. And I didn't have any weight on my shoulders today. Um, and it hasn't been that way in a long time. Playing in the MAC, every game is important. We just got done with MAC tournament. The pressure is even more there. Um, and it was nice today, for once, you know, they didn't know every play of ours. We, we had an opportunity, we had some freedom, we had some leeway. And so um, I attribute it to that a little bit too, but sorry to contradict you, but no, no pressure today, no pressure today. Okay. Having said that, then Jessica, does that, does these final two minutes, you took a big swing, you had a good lead, and saw it kind of all dissolve. I mean, does that make it more frustrating then at this point? It definitely makes it more frustrating. You know, you could pat us on the back and say good game, but at the end of the day, I, I know we had more in us kind of thing. Um, and that's disappointing in and of itself. And to end the season on two losses, we haven't done that since I've been here in my tenure. So, you know, that's disappointing. Um, I would have liked to get one postseason win under our belts just for the good of the team, honestly, not just me. But being selfish, I definitely wanted that one. Jess, have you thought any time in the recent past or any time during the course of the season what it might feel like to finish up? No, and uh, it probably won't hit me for a little bit, honestly. Um, 
after our last game, we usually have like a week off and then we get back to it. And I don't think it'll hit me for a while, but when it does, I I know it's, it's, it's gonna hurt a little bit, but um, I'm gonna have the life that every college athlete right now dreams of, so. Is there a sense of the half, some missed foul shots, a couple of missed layups that you should have had more than a nine-point game? Yeah. Um, it, like I said earlier, it, it felt like we had a lot of momentum, and it felt like a lot of things were going our way today. Uh, the crowd was so into it. They were awesome today. Um, and if it, honestly, it felt like, gosh, why didn't we play like this in a MAC tournament kind of thing? Like things, things were falling. You know, I think they were up eight on the boards at one point, but we were shooting 50 percent, so it, you know, it wasn't, you know, a big deal. But uh, it did. They kept hanging around and hanging around, and obviously, like I said, the rebounding men got us. Obviously, you were the only person who was on the court this year that's leaving this team. I mean, can you help us look at what this team's going to look like next year? This team is so full of talented players, you know, and you didn't even get to see half of them this year. And um, I'll take myself as a true testament to that. I, you know, I played behind Tracy Pontius and Laura Prohaska and, you know, Tara Bresky and Lindsey Goldsberry back when I was a freshman. And uh, to know that I had that in me all this time, I hope is, you know, a confidence builder for those players because, you, you know, you don't always get the start and you don't always get the minutes, but. I think you're going to see a lot of good things out of this BG team next year. Uh, it's just going to be like the beginning of this year. There's going to be so much competition for playing because, you know, most things are a wash and I know they're going to get back to work. Coach Miller is going to be very anxious to get back to work. Um, but I'll be very, very interested and I'm excited to see what they come up with next year. I know the willpower that they have and they're definitely going to use this as a motivation. So I'm excited to see what they bring together next year. Any other questions for Jess?